in last video we discuss about chapter 10 indian scientist and their contribution in this video chapter 11 conventional and non conventional and clean energy source of india three types of sources in this chapter discussed conventional non conventional and clean energy sources of india let's start energy is an inevitable requirement for growth energy is required for growth more energy a society consumes per capita the better is its quality of life it is considered that any society the which consume more energy per capita means per person having good quality of life growing energy demands and concerns for energy security are now spurring us to look for alternative source of energy. Continuously, demand for energy is increasing, and to fulfill the, these demands, we have to search some alternative source of energy, and that source which do not harm our environment. So first we know about the sources of energy that is conventional, non-conventional and clean energy source. First by a flow chart we know about the sources. Sources of energy are of mainly two types, conventional sources and non-conventional sources. These sources if one time use then they decreases but non conventional sources are not exhausted when they are used conventional under conventional sources are the coal oil and natural gas thermal power plants these sources are non renewable they are not renew they renew uh, in a very long period of time so these sources if used then they are exhausted some of conventional sources are renewable also like firewood straw dried dung these are renewable and non conventional sources these are the large sources like uh, solar energy that we get from sun uh, by a photovoltaic cell wind energy wind energy we get uh, by the wind turbines bio energy uh, that is uh, organic waste we get energy from the organic waste tidal energy from the oceans geothermal energy so these are sources are non conventional and they also clean source of clean energy but at this time we use at a large scale conventional sources like coal oil petroleum oil means diesel petrol and uh, other gases like cng lpg these are the uh, sources which are exhausted by the process of time so we have to look for the alternative sources to get the energy New nuclear breeder reactors use thorium as fuel and produces power that is energy they are not totally safe for future these the nuclear reactors are the sources of energy it is considered to be clean and that not harm our environment but uh, 
द रॉड्स दैट डिस्ट्रॉयड अंडर द अर्थ इज नॉट टोटली सेफ फॉर द फ्यूचर द रेडिएशन फ्रॉम दैट रॉड्स इज वेरी हार्मफुल सो इट इज नॉट कंसिडर्ड सेफ फॉर फ्यूचर हाइड्रो इलेक्ट्रिक हाइड्रो इलेक्ट्रिकसिटी आल्सो हैव सम लिमिटेशंस एज गाइगेंटिक डैम्स एफेक्ट अवर इन्वायरमेंट लार्ज डैम्स एफेक्ट अवर इन्वायरमेंट सो हाइड्रो इलेक्ट्रिकसिटी इज नॉट वेरी गुड फॉर अवर इन्वायरमेंट विंड एनर्जी इज ए क्लीन सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी टिल मिड टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन मोर देन सेवनटीन गीगा वाट विंड एनर्जी प्रोडक्शन कैपेसिटी हैड बीन इंस्टॉल्ड इन इंडिया अप्रॉक्सीमेटली सेवनटीन गीगा वाट विंड एनर्जी प्रोडक्शन कैपेसिटी हैड बीन इंस्टॉल्ड बट दी दिस हैज लिमिटेशन दैट इट कैन बी इंस्टॉल्ड ऑन द कोस्ट ऑफ द oceans and sea where continue flow of air is found solar energy projects are photovoltaic in nature we get solar energy from photovoltaic plates another viable mean of energy is the production is conservation of organic waste into energy this is the bio energy that we get from the organic wastes one other ways is to production of sine gas which can be used to produce hydrocarbons and synthetic petroleum in long run one vital aspect of energy used in transportation alternative fuels of lpg liquefied petroleum gas cng compressed natural gas mix chair of cng and hydrogen gas these all are fuels already used in different vehicles for transportation and some biodiesel that is derived from oil of plants like jetrofa karanja and even from algae and mixed with the diesel in 20 80 ratio these energy sources used for the vehicles for energy